What's up? Oh, yeah. More UFC. That's what's up. <laughs> More UFC for you guys. Real quick, um, George and I have been talking about the HH Greg contest. They've teamed up with the Dan Marino Foundation to give you guys some free stuff. The link is below here. Go check it out. You have a chance to win TVs. I, I mean, I don't have time to tell you all the stuff you, you can win, so you need to go down there, check it out, and you can also get some Dan Marino memorabilia. Like Nike, like Nike says, just, just do it. Just do it. Now, uh, the UFC on Fox returns, um, and for three ninety nine for, snitches. And it's always good when it's free, my man George. And the headliner is going to be Demetrius Johnson versus John Dotson, but we will get to the cards, the other, uh, the uh, matches that are going to be on the main card, starting out with Eric Koch versus Ricardo Lamas. And uh, I'm going with Koch. I'm going to go with Koch, too. Um, his only loss was to Chad Mendez. He's looked really good lately. Um, Lamas is on a three-fight win streak. He had an impressive win over Cub Swanson. But you know what? Like you said, George, I'm going to go with Eric Koch. We're not going to go deep into this fight, so I don't want to hear you crying because, really, there's just not a lot of focus and emphasis on this fight. What do you say? Yeah, I agree. Let's move on to the next one, which pits uh, Donald Cerrone versus Anthony Pettis, where um, Cerrone needs to win this fight to stay relevant, in my opinion. And Pettis needs to win this fight to get another shot at uh, Benson Henderson. Right. And um, yeah, the, the biggest thing is you've got one guy, Donald Cerrone, who has fought Benson Henderson twice and lost. You've got another guy, Anthony Pettis, was the only person to defeat Benson Henderson. And then he took that loss to Clay it, Guida. Go ahead. But here's the thing. If Cerrone wins this, I want to see him fight Diaz again because Diaz totally had him off his game. He got in his head. He he blew his wad early and just couldn't hit him being Cerrone. Cerrone just shot his wad early and couldn't uh, never recover de- from that opening, you know, 45 seconds with, with uh, Diaz. Right. So if Cerrone does win, I want to see him fight Diaz. Right. But I, I don't, me personally, I'm not picking him to win. I think Pettis wins this and then goes on the face of Benson Henderson. Yeah, I mean, Pettis kind of fell off the radar for a while, Um, but I, I think he, he got hurt. He got hurt. You know, he got hurt. He took that loss to uh, Guida. I think he's back now. Um, when Pettis is on, his game's on, he's he's fucking nasty. I think if he wins this fight, then he obviously is going to fight the winner of the Benson Henderson, uh, Gilbert Melendez fight. Well, who, well, who are you picking Who are you picking to win this fight, though? Um, You know what, man? I think I'm going to go with the Cowboy, man. I, I just think mm-hmm. I, he's, you know, I, I lately, you know, ever since he took that loss to Nate Diaz, and obviously, I, I just think he's really been on his game, you know? And I think... Well, now, now let's move on to a fighter who hasn't, in my opinion, been on his game <laughs> since signing a new contract he was with the on UFC. The team, though. Because all he was on a team, he was on a team. He's on a, he's on a team. <laughs> but he just he's been disgruntled. I mean, I'd say he's one of the, if not the most disgruntled UFC employee ever, and that's Rampage Jackson. Yeah. He has the uh, he has the task of going up against Glover Teixeira from the pit. Mm-hmm. Um, Glover's got good hands, um, good wrestling, good. I, I'm not. I'm sure his jujitsu has got to be good. He's Brazilian shit. Right. They're born with black belts, I think. So I think Rampage has got his hands full. Um, yeah, I, Rampage is coming off knee surgeries, so we don't know how mobile he's going to be. Not that he's the most mobile cat in the world to begin right. with. I think Glover wins this one going away. I think so, too. I mean, I just think in the last three years, the sport has passed up Rampage Jackson. I mean, he was at one time, if this three, four years ago, he's a great light heavyweight champion. But uh, I think... Uh, you know, everybody's obviously been avoiding this guy, Texier. It's a reason for it. He's fucking well rounded. Well, he couldn't get a visa to fight in the States. That's part of the problem. Right. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, and, and with that being said, the guy is just, you know, we're looking at a fighter in Rampage Jackson who is very one dimensional, in my opinion, especially for. Well, in, it, I mean, in Glover's last fight, he, he almost got himself knocked out trying to be too cute because he stuck his chin out there and told the guy to hit him. And the dude hit him <laughs> and wobbled him right. and wobbled him bad. Right. He better not do that against Rampage because Rampage, even if he, he still can't move, and follow you around the ring. He, if he hits you, yeah. Glover could go to sleep because he's not the last dude Glover. Yeah, fought. Rampage is nobody to be fucking with. I mean, we. The, the bottom line is Rampage Jackson is still a fucking great. His hands are nasty. He's a great striker. So if he takes that chances with Rampage, he could be on the canvas. He could be snoring. Um, with that, right be- now that takes us to the. To the main event, right. which is uh, Demetrius Johnson versus your uh, your favorite fighter, John Dotson. I, yeah, I'm going to go out on limit. I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to pick. These fight this this is a very evenly matched fight, George. I mean, Demetrius Johnson, when you look at the striking, Demetrius Johnson is a very technical striker. He lands strikes that doesn't have that knockout power necessarily, but he he's a technician and he he gets points. Whereas John Dotson he, can put he, you he's, away. Kind of, he's uh, um your boy comes out of is he coming out of uh, Lloyd Irvin's camp? Who Demetrius Johnson? Yeah, Johnson is. Uh, I'm not sure what camp Johnson is. I know John Dotson is out of uh, Greg Jackson's camp, and uh, okay, oh, and sweet he's out baby of Greg Jesus. Jackson's camp. I mean, 
you could sit there and say if 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 Demetrius Johnson keeps his fight standing and he he's really technical and he counters, he could win it on points, you know, and and uses that. He to will win. because he doesn't finish fights. And, and you know what? And if he, Demetrius, if he does, yeah, Demetrius Johnson doesn't finish fights. I don't even think he finished meals. <laughs> so I would assume that this is going to go twenty five minutes. That's my only problem with this. And I understand that might in your eyes or not you, Kevin, mm-hmm. but the fans' eyes think that I'm not a real MMA fan. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, it's exciting, but it's I mean, after the first round, nothing changes. Ah. He's going to dance around a lot, hit, move, hit, move, hit, move. It's like watching two uh, nats this, see, fight this each is other. the thing this is why i like this and this is what i'm getting at this is why i like john dotson because john dotson is a fucking guy that has knockout he's a flyweight that will knock you the fuck out um and and if if demetrius johnson slips up he'll get he'll get knocked out he'll get knocked out i mean because right. john dotson has the ability to do that demetrius johnson if he fights him and he sets up you know sets up takedowns with his hands then he'll win the fight and it'll be boring it'll be a five round fight and it'll go all five rounds and it'll end up being boring but i'm gonna go i'm gonna put my money on John Dotson, man. I, I, I think that cool. I think he's going to look, cut it off, and I think he's going to be aggressive, and I think Demetrius Johnson hasn't gone up against anybody like this guy. I'm going to put my money on me falling asleep before that fight's over and waking up and seeing who won. <laughs> anyway, guys, let us know your thoughts. We're out of here, and we'll catch you guys next time. Later.